Hello, everyone, and welcome to the World Gauntlet. Um, we are, for, uh, I guess, as a forewarning, uh, no minimal music today because I have a fucking headache. So I'm not, I'm not doing that today. Um, uh, so we either have, like, a, I would think a Y, all consonants, or another U, right? Um, I keep on wanting to use P L U M P. Plump. Ooh. All right. Well, we knew there was a T, I suppose, but um, that's okay. That's a good way to start. Uh, eliminate some things. Um, I keep on wanting to say like trunked and stuff, but there's no U or I'm sorry, there's no R. S stunk. Nope. S Dubs. Okay. Uh, well, interesting. Um, st studs. Yeah, I mean. There's no S at the end, though. Um, oh. Study? Yeah, study would work. Sure. Right. Oh, already put in letters. Um, I know what this framed is immediately. Do you know what movie it is? I feel like I should, but I don't. Um, this is the beginning of Drive when he's trying to time up when he should oh. lose himself in the crowd, right? Yeah. Gotcha. And then they're just like, so if you didn't know, this is about a movie that takes place in Los Angeles. Here's Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, this would be weird if I didn't like watch this movie a hundred times in my life until this point, of course. But it would probably take the until the, the fourth screen for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ki the kid with the mask. Yeah, that wouldn't have. That wouldn't I probably have would have guessed like Halloween three before. <laughs> right. Drive for that. Um, a very underrated movie with a somewhat robust cast, actually. Um, okay. I, oh, this is, a, yeah, this is bad. I, I, have, I, hate it. I have no idea. <laughs> um, it's going to be really awkward if it's like a Taylor Swift cut or something. Um I assume it's just like somebody from like the EDM space, but I don't know. Admittedly, not my genre. Yeah, this would be a Ryan. But... Kill the lyrics, though. Um, I have no idea. Uh, and I almost feel like it could be like Taylor Swift. I do too. Um, uh, it's not you need to calm down. Champagne problems. Let's do it. It is it's Taylor Swift anti here. Okay. Um, I have, I admittedly, maybe if I listened to some of the musicals, I would know this song, but instead I just click on her face. So. Sad, sad for everyone I know. Um, if you look closely, you'll see specs on your fucking screen, which apparently this is a country. Uh, Micro niche. <laughs> <laughs> it seems obvious. Uh, I'm gonna have to brush up on my like Micronesia uh, geography because it's in the Pacific, I guess, but I don't know where. Um, <laughs> um, Jesus Christ I really don't even want to get it right Because then it's going to ask you what it's fucking capital <laughs> um, 
I I don't know. I'm just gonna. I I tried. Yeah. I I I literally like can't even come up with lame ass answers. What what do we got? It is Tokalau. I didn't know that was a thing until this exact moment. I can tell you with absolute certainty, certainty that people in Tokelau don't know about Yui. <laughs> uh, right. Off in the middle of where the fuck nowhere. All right. All due respect. Um, okay, we have a right-handed central player. Um, let's see. S Christopher Morell. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, nope. Okay, but he is very young. Um I don't know. I don't know if I can name like anyone with the Pirates, other than uh, O'Neill Cruz, who is left-handed, so that's bad. Um, Cincinnati. Hmm. Not Robert Louis Stevenson. It is Cincinnati. Oh, it'd be lit if it was him. Okay, it's not. All right, so I should have known it wasn't because it's got to be twenty-four or twenty-five. Um. Young kid with Cincinnati. Uh, hmm. It's not Nick Senzel, I'd imagine. He's too old, right? Yes. Um, actually, it could be 21, 22 as well. Um, had to be someone that kind of just got brought up. Oh, um, Jonathan India? Excellent. I didn't have a guess after that, so glad that was done. All right, NFC shorter, probably a running back, Aaron Jones. Why not? He's around twenty-seven, right? Oh, okay. There you go. Um, I think what's his name? Dalvin Cook is twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-seven. Okay. Is everybody Swift has got to be younger than that? Oh, so it's Jamal. Excellent. Uh, defensive player in the NFC. Uh, this is where we get in trouble. Um, linebacker. Um, in the NFC West or South. Ooh, and he's older too. Um, what's the guy's name? Who... That's not who I'm looking for. That's fine. All right. Uh, so it's a defensive lineman that's older that is in the NFC South. Um, let me just make sure. Uh, defensive lineman in the South. Yeah, this, he's too young, I think. But All right. Defensive end, NFC South. Um, <clears throat> Saints. Uh is it is it Peck who who uh defensive tackle for Tampa Bay who's Hawaiian or Samoan? Um uh, I always get him confused with a player that used to be in the league like a million years ago. Alright, let's just figure out what team, I guess. Okay. Um uh, Shaquille Barrett? No. Okay. Just realized I did Tom Brady, and I was like, who the fuck is 45 years old, but it's Tom Brady? Um, oh, it's not Tampa Bay. I'm bugging. Okay, so we have Saints or uh, Carolina. Uh, pfft. Saints defensive end. It's not Marcus Davenport, but uh, that's the person I know, so I'm going to say that. Okay. 93 or 94. Who's on the other end? Oh, Cam Jordan? Cool. All right. I helped. I'm happy I didn't give up. Yeah, usually uh, <laughs> see Ryan. I think this is Russell Westbrook. That might be wrong, but that's okay. Awesome. Nice. Boom, boom. Seeing some pink with a lot of white. I'm seeing. Um, it's it's Tom Tom Cruise. Is this Jerry Maguire? Oh 
Yep, I see what you're saying. Yep, I think so. Awesome. We're we're locked in right now. Knocked up. It looked like it. To be. I thought I saw a girl dressed as a princess, and this is maybe it's this is forty. Yeah, that would have been. It's my, my second guess. Okay. I thought I saw Paul Rudd. Won't be a Judd, Judd Apatow film. Oh, it's Sex in the City. Yeah. We're we're not as locked in as I thought, but that's okay. Um, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, oh, hopefully one. You fucking whores. This game did this game just come out? Is that why they're asking us this? It, nope. Well, you know, I honestly don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say it's. Cole, Cole and I were just talking about it. I played one, he played three, so I said, that means two is shit, I guess. But I played ten of them. First one was fine. Uh, it's a kid's game. What? <laughs> I'm going to take a moment to drink some water um, because I need to take this in. Fresh cut from that guy. Wish I had that much hair. This uh, reminds me of that board in church where they put the hymns on it. Production value is wild. Well, that's Blink-182. It's Blink-182, right? I think so. Uh, this, yeah, I was going to say that or First Date. I don't. I mean, that's Travis Barker, but I guess... I'm pretty sure it's Travis Barker, yeah. I guess it's not Blink-182. Um, oh, interesting. What other acts is Travis Barker associated with? Um, he has done a lot of producing... And drum work on other people's houses, specifically more recently for what reason. Uh, he's dating. Is he dating uh, Chloe Kardashian? Okay, that's uh, Scott. Ha. Huh. I hear something crazy. I did not know that Pursuit of Happiness was featuring MGMT until like the last couple of weeks. I didn't know until this moment. I know that they did the remix with uh, what's his name, Aoki. Aoki. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what Memories is, so I'm gonna go with that one. It's Day and Night. All right. I don't know. I mean, that was Travis Barker, 100. I didn't know he had anything to do with that song, but okay. Uh, 1990. Michael J. Fox, oh lord, and Chris. Oh, I guess Back to the Future. Oh Jesus! It's either two or three. It's three. Um, I uh, basically just don't watch the third one and like try to be happy. Mel Gibson and Goldie Hawn. What women want? Yeah. It's the one where you can read their minds, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. David Carradine. Okay. Hmm. Goldie Hawn. Huh? Uh, oh, I can't think of a good joke in time. He's every woman's dream and one woman's nightmare. I think it's the movie I'm thinking of. I just got the wrong name. I also thought it was what women want. Uh, what women want, but I guess not. And F, it's not. An <laughs> FBI informant has kept his new identity secret for 15 years. Now an old film has recognized him, and the bad guys are back for revenge. <laughs> Mel Gibson in a comedy. All right, all right, all right. Um, which is David Carradine the goofy looking one, or is he like? He's the dead one. Is that the one from? Uh, oh, okay. Which one's the goofy looking one from Revenge of the Nerds? What's his name? It's not Keith. Is it Keith Carradine? I don't. Know. I don't know what the name of this movie is. Mel and Goldie in Bird on a Wire. Oh, I've actually heard of that movie. Before. Yeah. All right. Richard, <laughs> Julia Roberts, uh, Pretty Woman. Hashtag walking down the street. Orion Pictures, Robin Williams and Tim Robbins. Uh, Seems like an interesting tandem. Tim Robbins is a name that I've not heard in a long time. He's like six foot seven. He's a big bastard. Um...
Is he in like Good Morning Vietnam or something? I don't even know. That's uh, maybe not. Can't trust a car salesman. Who can you trust? Um. Okay. Joe is a car salesman with a problem. He has two days to sell twelve cars, or he loses his job. Okay. Uh, this would be a difficult task at the best of times, but Joe has to contend with his girlfriend's. He's two timing a missing teenage daughter and an ex-wife. I have absolutely no idea. Me either. Cadillac Man. I have literally never heard of that movie. Before. Nothing about this movie would make me want to watch it. So maybe Robin Williams, just to remember the good old times. Um, I uh, had a mentor friend. Uh, she writes movies and plays and stuff. And I guess she knew someone who knew Robin Williams. Or knew, I, she lived in New York. She went to, to college in New York. Um, and uh, I guess she knew the person. So she he sat down uh, on a bench in Central Park next to this person, and they were having a conversation, having a good time. And he didn't really look at him or anything. He looked over, and it was Robin Williams. And the moment that Robin Williams knew that he was Robin Williams, he just a sad. He had a sad look on his face, and he just like walked away because I guess he had such a hard time having natural human connections with people because he was who he was. Supposedly a very good person. I mean, I, I would hope so. Think so. Um, Nick Cage and Tommy Lee Jones. Um, Sean. Y- I don't think Tommy Lee Jones is in that. Although it does fit the Tommy Lee Jones like archetype, like he's always running after somebody for some reason. Um, Snake Eyes, the best just got better. Oh, we're talking about Nicolas Cage. Interesting. Um, action adventure. Interesting. A joint task force operation between the Drug Enforcement Administration and U.S. Army has been formed to dismantle one of the largest drug cartels operating in South America. Multiple attempts to assault the cartel's mountainous compound have been thwarted by a scorpion, scorpion attack helicopter piloted by cartel leader Eric Stoller. Bert Ryan definitely sounds like a cartel leader, Bert. After having several aircraft shot down, most notably a pair of UH-60 Blackhawks and their AH-1 Cobra escorts, the Army turns to the new AH-64 Apache attack Jesus. helicopter, which can impatch its enemy's maneuverability and power. First of all, Somebody once again, hard on for helicopters. two to three sentences, and they're definitely taking this to ex- excess, but I have no idea what this is. I have no idea either. Firebirds. These are some movies I have straight up never heard of. Uh, this one I have. I've never heard of Firebirds. But okay, we're moving on. Countries with the highest internet penetration rate. Indiv- individuals using the internet as a percentage of the population. South Korea. or South Korea? There it is. Yep. America. Hong Kong, I'm going to guess. I was going to say Japan, Hong Kong. It's percentage of the population, I guess. So yeah. Um, Singapore. All right. All right. <laughs> like UAE, perhaps? I, I, I think it's just bullshit, honestly, but that's fine. Um, maybe we just look for smaller populations. Denmark, yeah, Netherlands, UK. New Zealand. <laughs> All right. UAE is on there in Denmark. Ugh. Canada, Belgium. Israel, Belgium, Switzerland. Finland, sure. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, Sweden, Ireland, Germany. I'm not touching Oman. I, uh, Spain. Okay. You know it's going to be either Norway or Oman, right? <laughs> I hope not, but... What, what do we put here? Saudi Arabia or Canada? Or uh... Norway or Oman? We can't, small population. can't be Denmark. Oh. No. Saudi Arabia, I guess. Denmark, Canada. Which one do you want? Norway. I don't think it's Australia. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> Damn. Is it Australia? No, Norway was just switched with Denmark. So we had oh, all. Gotcha. Okay. 
What were the percentages on that? A hundred percent. Like what are the other ones though? Ninety nines. Okay, all ninety nine point something. That's kind of what I figured, right? Like. <laughs> I I guess I'm just tripping. I don't know. Like uh, every single person in UAE is using internet. I, I, I guess mean, it's, it's just on that reporting, right? So I, I, I guess. I would believe that they would report hundred percent. Uh, we had this one before. It's like it's Southeast Asia, Cambodia. Oh, we are having a holiday in Cambodia, boys. Destiny is something we've invented because you can't stand the fact that everything that happens is accidental. Feels. A Stanford prison experiment. Why is that on here? And like, like normal movies that people have seen are not. Uh, the Matrix. People who truly loved once are far more likely to love again. Oh, well, that's nice. Um... What's what's that one with John Cusack uh, with the book? Is that Serendipity? I think it is. I think so. Yeah, I was gonna say 1408. But... <laughs> I uh. <laughs> Sounds like a quote from that movie. I'm sure there is a book in 1408. Um. He's trying to write one. Oh well, that's yeah. There is a book then, I suppose. Um. I feel like John Cusack is delivering this line. I could see it, but I don't. Um. What's the one um, with the record store? Um, uh, high fidelity, right? Hmm. All right. She wants to meet me at the top of the... <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle, huh? Yeah. Okay. That was pretty easy. Okay. I would like to know who is saying all of these lines, though. I've never seen potatoes cook like that before. Okay. Uh, which of the following internet expressions is used for people who are skilled at video games? All right. <laughs> let's, let's have a talk here. Um, I spent most of my natural born life playing video games. I have not heard any of these words ever mentioned. It's leet. That's a thing? Yeah. Except it's usually like, three, three T. Like elite, but just leet? Or, well, it, it's like a. Uh, way of speaking. It's where they put letters instead of, or numbers instead of letters. I've. It, it effectively hasn't been a thing, I think, for the last 15 years. So I don't really know why it was there. Let's. I think that the stuff bear should be named Greed. I don't know if that's really right, but. I think it's Bobo, but go with Greed if you want. Ooh, Bobo. Who was originally cast to do the voice of Shrek? Chris, Chris Farley. I'm guessing he died and then couldn't do it. We, we're better for it. Uh, not for his death, but for the fact that we got Mike Myers. What is... <laughs> if you see this, your kid will never be the same again. Uh, from my perspective, this looks like um, a polar bear playing linebacker or something. I don't... Juggernaut's a good guess. Maybe Vision. I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> Comics. Comics. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Is most of the time our reference point is he looks like he's playing football. Is there a football player that's a goddamn? I really thought this was Juggernaut too. Oh. Hmm. oh, let's call him Ego. I don't know who that is. Um, is oh, the planet. The living planet. It looks oh. like he's got. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. No, Ego's from. The Guardians of the Galaxy 2. He's the Jeff Bridges character. Jeff Bridges in Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Yeah. Huh. Missed that one. Okay. Um, it looks like he's got a red suit and then like a blue arrow or something up top. He's Aang or Ang or whatever. I'm sorry, it is not Jeff Bridges. It is Kurt Russell. Okay, that yes, I... Called. Yeah, okay. That is what I meant. It's his dad, right? Yes. Who's actually the planet. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, if you want to keep going down, we can look and see. John, uh... I don't know what a 
eternity looks like. I don't know what Galactus looks like. I don't know what Giant Man looks like. I imagine he's pretty big. Think Fan Foo. Boom. What if he uh, was tiny? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would be cool. Groot, Human Torch, Iceman, Iron Fist, J. Jonah Jameson, Jean Grey, Jubilee. Jubilee's a girl and an X-Men. So. Lizard. Modoc, a personal favorite. I like that you went with Lizard instead of Lizard. Uh, well, um, Lizard is I a know. wide receiver I for the know. Packers. So I... <laughs> uh, Ma- Mandarin, Mantis, Maria Hill, Medusa, Mephisto, Misty Knight, Molecule Man, Molecule Man. Um, I, he- I hear that he has a song written about him. I thought that was Particle Man. It is Particle Man. <laughs> um, I don't know. If you don't know it now, I don't know if we'll ever get it. Because uh, we got Red Man, Blue on Head. It looks like knockoff Flash to me, though. Ooh. Reverse Flash? Somewhere there's somebody screaming. I don't know what this is. It's probably the Reverse Flash. Uatu? The Watcher? Um, uh, uh, oh, Jesus. I don't even have an educated... Yes. Uh, I'm gonna pro- or It's probably gonna be like when it pops up. It's gonna be like, oh, of course it was that. <laughs> Claw. Okay, that didn't happen. Uh, for me, so his, okay is his this. hand like like Hook's hand? What the fuck am I looking at here? Or is it like a radar? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Is. What that is. Or like a tool to mash potatoes? What the hell does he have in his hand? All right. Anyway. Um, James McAvoy. Ooh, I like it. I'm not typing anything. Is it MC? Yeah. I was going to say Adrian Brody. I don't know why. Apparently, we don't know who Adrian Brody is. <laughs> He's like he has a doesn't he have a Best Actor? Oh, okay. Um. It's either definitely either a musical artist or an actor, right? Based on how they look. Yeah. He looked like Matthew Good to me, just like an attractive dude. Hmm. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, I don't think this is right either, but I love it when they oh, get it's, more of the background. It's Paul Rudd. Yeah, it's Ant-Man, right? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for the Ant-Man background. We appreciate you. 1966. <laughs> You're not dead? 2003. Well, go yeah, might be dead. <laughs> there goes that idea that um, you can't be Don't dead and be in there. Jesus. In there. I'm, I'm shoot, doing a shot in the dark. You can't do Burt Lancaster. Okay. Um, Burt Reynolds is not actually the worst guy. All right. Burt Reynolds. We're doing it. He is 82. Uh, uh, older than 82. Okay. <laughs> um, so he's not dead, I guess, right? He just hasn't been a movie in forever. He was in a movie and its sequel, by the looks of it, in 78 and 80. Okay. Um, science movie, fiction movies from 78 and 80. Um, Not my specialty. No, nor, nor me, as it turns out. Um, a war movie from 1977? Ugh. Another war movie from 83. Drama, thriller, crime, history, mystery. I think 1987 is in the cut, but I don't know who was in that movie. In the cut? Yes. Isn't that the one with Meg Ryan where she shows her boobs in like 2003? Is it that late? I think so. Meg Ryan is definitely in it and she would be very young. Um. Uh. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, we only I only know that because we had her literally the other day, and I literally said that's the movie where she shows her tits. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, let's go down a little bit and see if we can get some like '90s era stuff. Okay, okay. 1998 four letter animation. Shrek minus a letter. Ooh, it's Shrek. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh shit! Could it be fucking? Could it be like anime animated and not like? I'm trying to think of like a kids movie from '98. I mean, that's possible. Jesus Christ! Let's see. Where do these comedies come from? One is actually pretty well rated comedy drama. The only the only animated movie I can think of is Cars, and that did not come out in 1998. So. Um, did I say comedy? Animation? Whatever. Um, he d- has been doing a lot of comedies. He did one, two, three, four, five movies in 2001. I was going to say, holy shit, 2001 was an effective year. For He's like, movies. I'm going out with a bang. Um. A really long I didn't realize there's there's still another movie down here, but seven point six. Yeah, that's what I said. Fairly well rated. So was the one in two thousand three. Who who is like in Hollywood that is that old who warrants like mention? Like fucking Clint Eastwood. Yeah, but there'd be more modern movies, probably. True, I guess. Thirty, I don't. Maybe not. <laughs> Jesus. Ninety-two. He was an Unforgiven. The only person oh. I know that's in that is Morgan Freeman. It's a good guess that if he was in a western anywhere between nineteen sixty and nineteen ninety, he was early oh, two thousand. He was probably. With you, them in it. you know who this is? Um, Hackman, right? Gene Hackman. Boom. He is still alive. First movies here. Okay, let me start with the Hawaii, Bonnie and Clyde. I don't know who the French connection. Okay. Poseidon Adventure. Frankenstein, I guess. Who did he play in Young Frankenstein? No idea. It's been a long time. Superman, (laughs) Superman 2. Those were the same. Hackman. Hoosiers. Uh, So it tracks, you know, that. uh, can't be dead yet. He's still alive, kicking somewhere, doing something. He just doesn't make movies. Ants. No, I was actually thinking Woody Allen because he's that old too. But I wasn't gonna write that. The replacements, the Mexican Heartbreakers, the Royal Tannenbaums, Heist, Behind Enemy Lines, and Runaway Jury. This guy fucking was doing it. Was this the one with fucking Owen Wilson? So if I would have put Cars, oh, I'm sorry, like Owen. You would have got. Yeah. That's weird. Jesus. All right. Well, that was interesting. Oh, Jesus. Look at these four genres. 45 at... All right. I just believed in mixing. It's fine. Okay. After 1990. Okay. Nine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know numbers. <laughs> <laughs> brain fried. I think that my brain is fried. Okay. Um, 45. Don't write Grant's kids. Jesus. They're not good for your health. <laughs> Don't eat crayons either. <laughs> I don't know how that ties in. Tim is three letters. Are you looking yeah, at the guy uh, fourth? fourth? Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, Tim Roth. Uh, it's Timmy Roth. Timey. <laughs> T-I-M-I, he spells it. Yeah. Timmy. Um... Ooh, okay. It is Quentin Tarantino. How about that? That's amazing. Okay, so <laughs> Samuel Jackson is uh, the top one. What's his face? Uh, no, I was gonna say, is it Django? It's not Django. Um, 
this Kristoff Waltz. Oh, is the third one Kristoff Waltz? Is this Inglorious Bastards? Could be. Brad Pitt is the first one. Yep. There, oh, what did I do? Oh, okay. There you go. Jake was all over that one. I wouldn't have gotten Mel Melanie Laurent, even though she's in some good movies. Have you ever oh, seen The Beginners? Eli Roth. Oh. oh. <laughs> I hate it. Oh. Daniel Bruhl. I feel like this guy plays a lot of like dickhead Nazis, which I think is what exactly what he does in this movie. Omar <laughs> Doom? That's a yeah, name? Like is in that. I forgot. He's a dick Nazi too, right? Is or is he the one that does the finger thing? The finger thing. Like the three. Oh, you're yeah, right. He does kill. I, I I was getting his character and Eli Roth's character mixed up because Eli Roth sure does hate hate him some Nazis. I haven't seen the movie in some time. In all, Same. Mike Myers, like the Michael Myers, is that him? I think so. Uh, Julie Dreyfus. Like Julie Louis Dreyfus. I'm <laughs> ah. assuming. Uh, okay. Wait, who the fuck was Samuel Jackson in that movie? Um, you know, Wolfgang Linder. Linder. Like, I know he's super low on there, but like, Ooh. who the fuck was he in that movie? It's just built right above Bella B. So that's good. <laughs> Harvey, Keitel? Harvey Keitel? I don't remember. Are we just, are we... Is Quentin just fucking putting <laughs> names of his friends? Are they, are, they, are, are they just like walking in the background at Harvey Keitel? Um, I'm starting to think that maybe that's what's going on here. It it's very well could be. Um, okay, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I, I don't want to talk about anything other than you should comment in the comment section because my head hurts and I just want this to be over with. So, deuces. Appreciate your being here. Please watch all that jazz. Bye.